हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज फजल यू आर वॉचिंग एम एफ ए सिविल इंजीनियरिंग देर आर सम स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ सीमेंट मैनुफैक्चर फॉर अ स्पेशल पर्पसेज दिस इज डन बाई वेरिंग द प्रोपोर्शन ऑफ अ डिफरेंट इन्ग्रीडियंट और एडिंग सम एक्स्ट्रा इन्ग्रीडियंट ड्यूरिंग द मैनुफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस ऑफ सीमेंट दिस स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ सीमेंट आर वाटर प्रूफ सीमेंट एसिड रजिस्टेंस सीमेंट सुपर सल्फेट सीमेंट कलर्ड सीमेंट एंड द सॉरल सीमेंट वाटर प्रूफ सीमेंट आर प्रोसेसिंग द प्रॉपर्टी टू रजिस्ट द पेनिट्रेशन ऑफ अ मॉइस्चर These are obtained by adding a waterproofing substance like calcium stearate, aluminium stearate, and the gypsum with the tannic acid to the ordinary Portland cement during the grinding process. Waterproof cement has a two function: to resist the absorption of water and to make a concrete impervious to the water under a pressure. The substances which are chemically inactive, such as the aluminium soap, calcium soap, vegetable oil, wax, resins. coal tar residue and the bitumen which act as a pore blocking agent if this material are used in a cement in appropriate proportion they increase the resistance to the penetration of a moisture acid resistant cement are produced by mixing an inert acid resistant aggregate with the sodium or potassium or a silicon ester in a suitable proportion their cementing property is due to the precipitation of a silica caused by adding a suitable setting agent like sodium silicon fluoride or ethyl acetate or by evaporation of a water the band developed by the silicate cement is hard but also a brittle on drying the cement become very porous and permeable to the liquid for this purpose it should always be kept wet or immersed in a liquid to prevent the shrinking of the gel the super sulfate cement is produced by grinding together granulated blast furnace slag about 80 to 85% and the calcium sulfate about 10 to 15% with the portland cement clinker about 1 to 2% the content of a sulfur trioxide is 5 to 7% in the mixture whereas blast furnace slag is about 85% this cement is similar to the portland cement in setting and the hardening but it is sensitive to any excess of a sand and water and required a more care in the proportioning of their mixture this cement have a high resistance to the acid water sulfate and the chlorides than the other portland or a high alumina cement this cement is suitable in a situation where the concrete is exposed to the sea water and the sulfate bearing soil due to its low heat of hydration it may be used for a mass concreting the color cement may be colored by means of a coloring matters like yellow oak vanadium red and the ferrous oxide it means the color pigment about 2 to 10% are added to the ordinary portland cement or the white cement In preparing a colored cement, iron ore are completely or the partially substituted for the clay. These cement are imploded in a marine work on account of their resisting action against the sea water. All the colored cement set slowly. The sorrel cement is made by adding of a strong solution of a magnesium chloride to the finely grounded calcined magnesia. The material is sometimes known as a magnesium oxychloride cement, which set hard in a three to four hour. This material is basically used in a composite flooring such flooring having the advantage of a being a non-slip fireproof not easily scratchable durable and capable of taking a good wax or a oil polish the rate of hardening of a cement is still increased by adding of a calcium chloride the accelerated rate of a setting is especially used during the cold weather concreting it is believed that the calcium chloride accelerate the hydration of a di calcium sulfate and the tri calcium sulfate which is the strength contributing component of the cement on the other hand the hydration of a tri calcium aluminate is retarded the optimum quantity of a calcium chloride to be used for a such purpose is about 1.5% by the weight of total weight of a cement if this is exceed it increase the chances of a corrosion of a steel embedded in the concrete especially if the concrete is less compacted or porous